Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays B103101? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does B103101 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. The add-on to the error code serves to specify the status in more detail. For example, a short to the ground. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number zero. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Jeep, vehicles, also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two beats again determine the second character. The last beat styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code B103101 interpret specifically Jeep car manufacturers? The basic definition is HC Adsorber HC Trap Catalyst Efficiency Below Threshold And now this is a short description of this DTC code. Engine speed is lower than 1656 RMIN lower than M higher than or 1313 RMIN lower than CVT higher than volumetric efficiency is lower than 25% lower than M higher than or 35% lower than CVT higher than the accelerator pedal is not depressed barometric pressure is higher than 76 kilopascals 224 in HG intake air temperature is higher than minus 10 degrees Celsius 14 degrees Fahrenheit the accumulative mass airflow is higher than 2,900 grams the fuel shutoff mode continues for 3 seconds or more after the fuel shutoff mode is terminated the output voltage of the heated oxygen sensor third is 02 volt or less for 05 seconds after the output voltage of the heated oxygen sensor rear reaches 05 volt the output voltage of the heated oxygen sensor third reaches 05 volt within 15 seconds seconds lower than CVT higher than lower than M higher than lower than CVT higher than lower than M higher than. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. 
HC trap catalyst deterioration within center exhaust pipe ECM failed general electrical failure This subtype is used for general electrical failures that cannot be assigned to a specific subtype category information and no subtype information, e.g. DTC 803901B0039-01 second row right frontal stage 1 deployment control, general electrical failure. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.